Hi sisters, it's Jake, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Dr. Phil, and how Dr. Phil is now doing YouTube ads. Dr. Phil, with over 6 million subscribers, posted a YouTube ad for a game, and today we're going to watch it. I've already seen this video, and it's one of my favorites. I've shown it to Hannah, I've shown it to other friends, and it is really great. What is strange about it is that Dr. Phil is probably making so much money right now, not including these ads. I mean, he has a very successful TV. TV show and multiple books, why is he promoting a game? Could it be that he's in the middle of a lawsuit? I don't know. Let's check it out. This segment is sponsored by Solitaire Grand Harvest, which is owned by Playtica. Good. If you're looking for something to do that's fun, relaxing, and good for your brain, I have a perfect way for you to take a much needed break and it's right on your phone for free. <gasps> it's an app game called Solitaire Grand Harvest. <laughs> First of all, it's an app game. If you didn't think Dr. Phil was already ancient, here's your proof. That's how grandparents describe games to you. Well, it's an app game on your phone and it's fun and relaxing and it's good for your brain. Now I have two guests here who say they play and love this game. Katie and Lorinda, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Go Katie and Lorinda. I bet you all the money in the world that they have never touched this game. I also love that they're doing a Zoom show, but they also have a live audience. I wasn't going to talk about the people that are in the live audience, but I've realized now that they've subjected themselves to critiques, so here I go. Over here, just barely got on the Zoom and had absolutely no clue how to click a link. This guy thinks that the Zoom chat is Omegle, and he's ready to show his willy. Here's Weird Al Yankovic. Hi, Dr. Phil. I am so excited to be here. Katie says she plays Solitaire Grand Harvest to relax and exercise her brain. Oh. I love that we're saying says she plays not just play Solitaire Grand Harvest. I've been playing the game for about two years now. Two years? I don't play a game for two years. I'll play a game for a week and then delete it. I don't know if this is a flaw in myself, or maybe I'm the only one who does this, but I get bored so easily. There's no way that this person has been playing Solitaire Grand <laughs> Harvest for two years. And after the end of a long, difficult work day, I like to unwind with the- I love his face right now. Artwork is amazing. All of the challenges and levels are super fun. And I really like all of the super cute animals that play along with you. You know that they gave the script and was like, okay, you need to make these talking points. Cute characters. Artwork is amazing. And it helps me relax. Yeah, they do have great artwork. Lorinda, what do you enjoy about the game? <laughs> That's part of his ad read, too. Yeah, that's right. They do have good artwork, but, uh, Lorinda, what are you talking about? Lorinda, what do you enjoy about the game? Well, I found Solitaire Grand Harvest about four months ago. Oh, yeah? Online. No, you didn't. You just specified online. She thinks that this is a game that she can go on Internet Explorer on her $100 HP 2-in-1 and figure out how to play from there. No, 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 Lorinda. This is an app game on your phone. I've been playing it every single day since. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think you have. If anybody has any history in reading any kind of body language, why does she moan after she says this? Whoa. <laughs> that looks like a scene from Euphoria. Uh, we're gonna watch you guys play. Are you up for some friendly competition? No, you're not going to watch them play. You're not going to watch two wannabe actresses pretend to play a game. Let's yeah, play. Let's play. <laughs> awesome. I am so excited for you, and I'm really excited to see how you play. I bet you that the younger one wins, and the older one doesn't know how to unlock the phone. Let's see who can complete their level first. So you have your phones, and we're gonna see them. You guys see them on the screens here. Okay. All right, so get ready, set. All right, play. Cool. All right, we can see what's going on here. <laughs> that face is so good. She is lost. This is Lorinda's first time using a touch screen. Now, the game is not only enjoyable, but it's challenging and it can sharpen your brain. <laughs> So if you're looking for a mini escape with beautiful artwork and great scenery, you can take a break from your busy day and try growing some cool crops. <laughs> Even he thinks it's funny. Cool crops. <laughs> Even Dr. Phil knows that he's fallen off. And just like I said, Katie beat Lorinda and Lorinda doesn't even know it yet. I finished, I won. Oh, you did, all right. 
<gasps> awesome. She won. Good. Congratulations to both of you. You know, Robin and I started playing this and we love the graphics. Dr. Phil, you haven't been playing this game, be honest. You're too busy having affairs and giving a platform to the worst kind of people. Because it's really animated and fun. <gasps> Oh my God, is this the Madame Tussauds? And uh, both of you are really good at the game and that makes you both winners. No, they're not. And that makes you both winners. Just dead behind the eyes. So whether you're currently playing games on your cell phone or not, now's the time to get in on the fun for Solitaire Grand Harvest. He's not even trying to not look at the teleprompter right now. Go to your Apple App Store or Google Play on your phone and download Solitaire Grand Harvest for free and you get a welcome bonus. You get a welcome bonus? No way. Actually, I throw all this out the window. I'm really excited that Mr. Dr. Phil, who's currently getting sued for abuse, is now giving me a welcome bonus. I was looking at a study the other day and these games actually do uh, improve your brain function. <laughs> Right? These games actually do improve your brain function. These games. Is he just talking about games in general? Yeah, no shit. Any game will help your brain function because you're doing something besides just sitting there and reading a teleprompter. What I love is that he looks off the screen to like a producer or something like, was I allowed to say that? Uh, because they keep you doing things that you don't do every day. This man is a doctor? <laughs> I could have said that better. And you do them every day, but except they switch up. And the reason that they switch up is to help your brain function. And then you change them after a while and it just keeps you, keeps you going, particularly with your working memory. So they actually do, if your kids are doing these things. God, he is so old. I mean, if your kids are doing these things. They're doing these things. That's how he plays a game. I love that he's just squeezing whatever's in his hands. They actually do have some uh, positive effects, so no doubt about it. <laughs> I actually do have some positive effects, so no doubt about it. That's right, Dr. Phil. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know if it's fair to market Solitaire Grand Harvest as like a brain game. Do this, and that makes, you know. What I love about this is that it says hashtag ad, and then the title of the video is a fun, relaxing game that's good for your brain. Six million subscribers with 35,000 views and 300 likes. Dr. Phil, what are you doing? Also, Solitaire Grand Harvest, why would you pay him to promote this? Obviously, you're not going to get many downloads because your viewers don't know how to download an app. Your viewers look like this. There is no way that after seeing this, this link right here has more than five clicks. You know that his audience read this as give yourself a show more and that's it. Television as we know it is going to turn into one big Raid Shadow Legends ad. Today we have To Catch a Predator brought to you by HelloFresh. I would love to see a murder trial sponsored by NordVPN. This kind of stuff just gives me more content to react to, but it is really disturbing. There's this weird crossover where TV doctors are doing YouTube ads. If any of you see anything like this, please send it to me in the link below. Other than that, I just hit 10,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough and I can't wait to keep making videos for you. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you later.